He's a multi-award winning artist and musician who's recorded all over the world as a sought-after session player, not to mention having a notable solo career. Please welcome to the cafe, Phil Dubley. Yes! Welcome. Lovely to have you in the studio. Uh, so you've got a, a new album coming out at the end of the month, yes. Strength, Love, Music and Light. So what's the inspiration behind this? They're all very motivational songs on this one. Um, being the third album coming out, it's I just needed to, to uh, the muse and myself to have a nice kind of arrangement where we could write inspirational songs for, you know, dear friends and and uh, hopefully the public gets it. Well, no, and, and that's the thing, Phil. I mean, I'm familiar with your music. You've written some songs about the Canterbury earthquake. There's been a lot of incidences that happen in the mm -hmm. country. And is that where you draw your inspiration from? Just what's going on around you? Stories, yeah. you know, um, especially ones with, that resonate with New Zealand, I think. Um, yeah, that's that's always been my ambition as a writer to try and reach out to the hearts of New Zealanders. Mm -hmm. yeah. And your wife, Lana, she's also mm -hmm. a musician and an award-winning country so uh, songwriter as well. Mm -hmm. She's got an album out as well. She does. So you've both been in the same house working on albums mm -hmm. for the last forever. How has <laughs> no. that gone for you both? <laughs> Stressful at times. <laughs> Usually you have one creative type, but the two together. Yes, yes. I managed to finish mine and then leap onto another project with Lana, and they're both going to be released on the same day, which is which is really cool. Wow. Oh, right, a bit of competitiveness yeah. going on there. And, and you're still married. So. <laughs> we are still married. <laughs> We're still married, yes. And is there a bit of cross-pollination that goes on? Do you look over her tracks and go, oh, I we'll wouldn't know about that, well, maybe do this, or do you collaborate together? We do. There's a couple of songs on, on mine that we've co-written together. And there's one on Lana's that we've co-written as well. How nice. does it work yeah. with the co-writing? Does one of you take the lead, or does it is it really a? Basically, it comes from whoever has an idea first. It's like pitch it to the other person. It's like, what do you think? And it's like, yep, let's run with it. Cool. And then uh, hopefully it all work without too much screaming. We, we've we've finished a song. So it's, it's kind of like how you approach dinner each night. <laughs> <laughs> Here's, here, this is what I'm thinking. What do you reckon? Let's yeah. do it. Yeah, let's do it. Do you have yeah. to take any moments where you actually take a breath and walk out of the house and maybe go no. for a walk around the block and come back? Never. Really? Well, <laughs> Never. That's, that's successful. Well, no, and, and I'm really curious too, did you two meet through your love of, of music or did you meet elsewhere and discover you both had a love of music? Um, well, classic kind of tale. I was playing in a band New Year's Eve and, and I met Lana then who, who wasn't into music at all. Um, and then 20 years later, we decided to tie the knot and Lana discovered that she has a knack for writing songs and went, went along to win I don't know how many awards with her songwriting, but you know, more than I have, put it that way. Wow. She's, she's amazing. Yeah. That's, ins amazing that's incredible, isn't it? So you yeah. are doing a New Zealand tour together as well? We are. That. When, when this gets released, we're, we're doing a South Island tour to start with. We're going to start in Gore and uh, finish in Christchurch in December, so yeah, hopefully, and uh, it all goes well. There's, there's, uh, I think, six dates. We're doing uh, Gore, Invercargill, Dunedin, Peel Forest, Ashburton, and Christchurch. Now, I, w I was, I was curious, Phil. Yeah, you've played around the world. You've done a lot of incredible gigs. What's been the most memorable musician you've played with? Has there been one where you've gone, <clears throat> "This is a pinch me moment. I can't believe this is happening." Okay, I'll tell this story. Oh, uh, good. Oh, good. good. This good. sounds yeah, like a goodie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Jimmy Barnes um, owes me a new microphone. Wow. We uh, there was used to be a venue prior to the earthquakes in Christchurch called the Southern Blues Bar, and he he'd done a gig that night, and because we were doing the late shift, decided. He was going to get up and have a jam with us, which we thought was really cool. It's like, yeah, Jimmy Barnes. Yeah. And he got up on stage and, um, oh, I'm going to borrow your mic. I said, yeah, no worries. And at the end of the song, he let out the scream and he just, boom, threw it on the ground and the microphone just went. <laughs> 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 Goodbye microphone. I only just bought it that day as well. Oh, oh, they're not oh, cheap, oh. aren't they? <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Barnes can afford to buy a new one if I ever hit him up. Sure. Right, <laughs> right, so we need to get yeah, him yeah. when he's back in the country next year and say, mate, by the way, you are, yeah, you, we are your, you owe your microphone. I'm going to take notes, my friend. I'm going to take notes. Thank you very much, Phil. And we look forward to hearing from Phil at the end of the show. Yes, he'll be performing the song Suitcase, which is beautiful. Go and get his album, Support New Zealand Made. I discovered an old suitcase in a second-hand store Covered in dust and cobwebs, sadly sat upon the floor A 
brushed my hand across the leather. I tried to understand its rusted hinges and initials written in a shaky hand. Around its weathered handle was an old tag and a key, and the name of a Kiwi captain dated 1943. It really got me thinking that this is seen some miles. The proof was in the dented shell, it really had some trials. And each sticker told a story where you'd been and what you seen. From Asia through to Europe, USA and Italy Tarnished corners, tattered armor A broken buckled mystery Tired, worn out traveler You're coming home with me I had to save this grand old fella and I knew just what to do Polish the brass and fix the handle Had it looking good as new But it's faded silk lining A stain from ink from tales of woe By the pen the owner used To probably write his letters home And now you proudly sit retired That old suitcase now is mine It's memories and it's secrets Locked away, preserved in time And each sticker told a story Where you'd been and what you'd seen New Zealand through to England Australia and Germany Shiny corners, fixed up armor Yet still a mystery Tired, worn out traveler Your home is now with me Tired, worn out traveler, your home is now with me.